Well, today we're going to do something different. We have right here um, another steam locomotive. You'll recognize the one on my other profile page. It's uh, SLRG number 18. But this one is different. This is in my local hometown on static display is what they will call this. This is Atchison, Topeka, Santa Fe 1024 and we'll get out here in a little while to take a look at it. But I thought it'd be interesting first to show the history of the locomotive if I could get a little bit of pieces of history. So a couple of days back I went down to the city office and I picked up some official documents um, documenting the train when they first got it. And um, I have them right here in my lap actually. She printed me off a pretty good sheet here. Uh, a couple of pages about some documentation of the donation of this locomotive. And I'll try and find here what it'll say on September 8th, 1954. So, um, yeah, it's, shoot, it's a pretty old locomotive, and today is September 8th, ironically, so, um, it's just getting older. It's another year older today. It's its birthday, so it would probably be a good time to record today a video. So I'll read you this first paper, because this is all about this steam locomotive, and then the papers I have behind it are little highlighted sections of it. So here we go. Uh, excuse me if I can't read some of it because they're in very, um, how should I say, court writing, so to say. So, here we go. Know all men by these presents that the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Rail Company, a Kansas Corporation party of the first part, does hereby donate and transfer unto the city of Lahana, Colorado, a municipal corporation party of the second part. All right, title, and interest of the party of the first part and the following personnel property to wit. An item of movable equipment identified as steam locomotive or engine number 1024, complete with tender, such item to be revolved or removed by said party of the second part from the premises of said party of the first part. <laughs> this instrument is executed without any warranty by or on the party of the party of the first party of any kind charter or character or description whatsoever expressed or implied and no covenant of warranty or guarantee shall be implied from the use of any word of words herein contained the city of Lahana Colorado by the acceptance hereof and of said steam locomotive or engine agrees that it will at all times keep the same in a clean, attractive, and sightly condition, and so that the same shall not at any time be or become unsightly or dilapidated in appearance. In witness whereof the party of the first part has caused these presents to be executed by its proper offices, thereunto duly authorized on this day, the 8th of September, 1954. The Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway Company signed by the general purchasing agent and the secretary to attest it so that's that document there and we got a couple other pages that this locomotive started making news in the very latest it was making news in was in 1984 i believe it was so get this taken care of here this is actually um these are minutes from the city council <clears throat> they when these uh, topics of conversation came up, they just recorded them in here. And um, very nice people to work with, I guess, because I did get these from a very nice woman who uh, volunteered her time to help me out a little bit trying to find a history on some of this locomotive. There's no history whatsoever that I can find um, on the Internet, what, what so have you, you know. Um, this one was, I'll tell you here, the seventh day of June of 1954 of that, um, what was it, they, what, before they were going to purchase or get this steam locomotive, and they got the official form that I just read to you. Um, here we go. The highlighted portion is down here at the bottom when they started looking at it. It says right here, it was moved by Councilman McDonald and seconded by Councilman Driscoll, or Driscoll, that the city accept engine 1024 from the Santa Fe Railroad as a gift. All eyes were on this motion. Um, and different. So, um, basically, 
this is when they were going to get that locomotive, and then they uh, they were accepting the gift, so they have to move to accept it um, before they could get it. So then it goes on for a couple more, um, and then it comes up again for December fifth, nineteen sixty, is looking like. So about it's a ten year, almost ten years after here and now this document it says the city clerk read note from Bob Cornelius quoting a price of two thousand dollars for moving engine 1024 900 to put it on track and a thousand one hundred to take it off the clerk also read letter from GA Alexander Santa Fe offering corporation and assistance in um, moving engine 1024 as well and then it says a letter from Chamber of Commerce offering the city of Lahana a parcel. Okay. Offering the city of Lahana a parcel of land owned by the chamber adjoining the Santa Fe Railroad just west of Potter's Park. So, then it goes on to this next page here. Then they accepted the offer's ground by the Chamber of Commerce and moved 1024 on it. Also accept Bob Cornelius' offer to move the engine for the amount of $2,000. And, um, yeah, and the, they did uh, say all eyes on this motion as well. So this is about currently where this locomotive stands. I know it's been moved around. I think it's just been once, and this is where it stands, is just right here. So it's been here for a long time. Um, then going on, this would be... December 19th, 1960. Uh, here, this locomotive was starting to get a little more attention a couple, you know, a couple days later, what have you. Um, they said here, the city clerk read a letter from Heron Junior High School, which is no longer present anymore, um, stating that they would like to contribute some money in order to keep Engine 1024 in the city. It was moved by Councilman Pound, seconded by Councilman Smith, that the contribution be accepted and earmarked to construct a fence around Engine 1024. All eyes on this motion. Um, looks like as well that a couple of teachers and um, a couple of hardworking students came and they uh, helped the council with this decision as well. So, next document, let me see here. Okay, that's a fine one, this one. January 16th, 1961. So a year later, comes up again in the meeting, and it says it was moved by Councilman Hendren, seconded by Councilman Pound, and Al Bickle be appointed a chairman of a committee to take care of Old Engine 24 and be authorized to select his committee to serve with him. All eyes on this motion. And then that was pretty much it. They have a care committee at that time. I'm not sure if this committee still exists or what have you. It's kind of a shame this locomotive has it's hasn't been painted, I'd say, in a good 20 years already. So it's not looking the best and um, not very well maintained. I could, I guess, you could say it's put on the back burner for now. So, and I'm hoping not. You know, if I get enough views on this video, I don't want to change any. Um, how do I? My biggest thing is I don't want to sound negative towards the city of Lahana, so to say. I I amend them for, or I compliment them actually for having this locomotive and keeping it here in Lahana and not, um, I guess so to say, because it came up in later on and we'll read here, it was for sale at one time. So, going through the documents again, let's see what else we can find on here. January 20th, 1960, or February 20th, 1961 here. It says, the city clerk read a letter from the Royal Neighbors of America, number 2421, enclosing a check for five bucks <laughs> to help pay for the moving of engine 1024. Also, would like to have a sign moved so that the engine uh, may be seen from all directions. So, apparently there was a sign in front of where it is now. It is no longer here, and it's basically, you could see it from all directions.